financial services, at the end of the day, everything becomes data, right? We're not producing metal or cotton, right? Data is the lifeblood of the firm. And so people need to treat it as, you know, the crown jewel and really respect it. And I think that respect is evidenced by people caring about what they put into their systems day in and day out. Digital and everybody digitizing everything has certainly uh, led people to recognize the importance of data, even just our daily lives, right? We go and buy something on Amazon. Uh, when we enter in the shipping details and, and the billing details, like it matters, right? And so I think we have a, a healthy respect for data when it's in our personal lives. I think when it's in our corporate lives, sometimes people don't understand because there is such an opaqueness to how the data flows through these organizations. So, you know, I think there's a greater appreciation for the importance of data. I think the next couple of years will uh, hopefully turn that into something even more powerful that can be leveraged going forward you're going to see uh, better resiliency around those crown jewel uh, assets, right? The, the, the good news around an effective data strategy is you get a ton of leverage from it. Uh, the real challenge is, and what people need to respect, is that that leverage can create its own issues. And so you're now introducing a single point of failure where it didn't exist before. And so you need to prepare for that, right? And making sure that you're resilient and stable and secure is critical when you have these uh, single sources of, of enterprise data.